My name is Greg Vici. I'm the uh, ice carving coordinator for First Fridays here in Goshen. First Fridays is the uh, downtown Goshen event. First Friday of every month. Uh, the businesses stay open late. There's specials, there's live music, there's always some fun things going on. A lot of people come down and also for the ice festival here in January. The ice festival part of First Fridays uh, has been going on for three years. Most of the ice sculptors are in food service some way, and I got started by uh, a, a chef in Kalamazoo took me to an ice festival in South Haven, gave me a chainsaw, and I got started and got hooked. I've been doing it ever since. Ice carving is becoming more and more popular, partially because of TV and partially because there's a lot more festivals. In the uh, uh, northern Indiana and southern Michigan, there are more festivals uh, than anywhere else in the country. Uh, there are about 21 or 22 festivals within a 75 mile drive of South Bend uh, this year. Uh, the basic tools are a chainsaw and chisels, and then we also use uh, various die grinder bits and uh, uh, angle grinders. But to really get started, you need a chainsaw and a good set of chisels. A block of ice, a standard carving block, is 40 inches tall and 20 inches wide, 10 inches thick, and weighs about 300 pounds. The best way to get involved is to come to a festival like this and kind of tag along with a, with a carver, uh, learn what you can, and then uh, try to find some place where you can practice. I would recommend ice sculpting as a DIY project because you use a lot of unique tools. It's a very unique medium. Uh, and the, the, the toys you get to use are just a lot of fun.